Hi guys, this is an update on my Crassula ovata or my jade too, or a jade plant or money plant um, or a good luck plant or money tree, good luck tree, all of the above. This is like a very um, common in feng shui and very common, a uh, very, I would say the easiest succulent ever, ever because I'm not very good with succulents and as you can see, she is huge. She sits in an eight inch pot and I hope you enjoy the rest of my vlog. You're gonna hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. All my social media accounts, including what I use for this plant, the medium or soil, everything that I use when I water, all that good stuff will be linked down below as well. So she sits currently in a west-facing window. I think, I'm not sure with the previous vlog, but I, it was a different window. Um, she has moved and I just transplanted her maybe 30 seconds ago, I finished that. And um, it was like a six inch pot or a seven inch pot or eight inch pot, but it was shorter. It was, I think it was a seven inch, but it was like shorter only up to here. So this is definitely a, an upgrade, like maybe uh, two inches taller. And um, I took her to bare root as much as I could. Her soil um, is probably like up to here right now. So she has some room to grow. Um, I do plan to water her when the top part of her soil, I would say minimum one inch to two inches, and that's when I'm going to water her. Um, and the reason that I do that is because succulents, especially with the jade, that's my personal experience. Um, if I let her dry a little too much, like if I let it go maybe two inches over, she will probably start to drop leaves due to that. Um, I also did trim her today when I transplanted, um, one leaf fell, and I forgot where it was. I think somewhere here fell. It was a giant one. I was planning on cutting it up. Um, it fell just by transplanting. It just happens. This I cut up, and I'm going to propagate that because my Jade 4 died due to my son. He ripped it off the pot. He is only three, so... Um, he ripped it off, so I'm gonna have to replace that plant, and so I'm gonna have to, I, I clipped this, uh, which one? I clipped here, right there, you can see that, and then I clipped right here, and I think there was one more that I clipped. Um, where was it that I clipped? There was one more that I clipped, because I think I clipped three different ones. So I, I'm very unsuccessful in clipping um, and propagating in regards to just a leaf. Um, I do need, like, the I think they call it a petiole or a stem, which is something like this. If it has multiple notches, I mean multiple nodes and multiple, um, multiple leaves, and it's grown, like, a few inches, I can grow that. If it's just one leaf, it will probably rot and die. I just am unsuccessful with that, so I don't... I don't try it anymore because I'm wasting it. So here's an update. She sits in a west-facing window. When it's really cloudy and dark in the darker months or darker days, there is an LED plant light. Um, I will, and she gets maybe, ugh, maybe two to five percent, maybe because it's not really for this plant because she sits in front of a west-facing window. So even on cloudy days, she still gets some kind of light. It's for other plants that are there, and I kind of noticed that she does get a little bit of the plant light. So that's why I'm just letting you guys know. Everything that I'm, I am using and will be planning to currently use in the foreseeable future will be linked down below. So do check that out. Um, again, the soil that I use will be linked down below. Everything that I water her with will be linked down below. And for this size, I would say... I'm going to check in one inch, and if in one inch her leaves aren't shriveled up, then I'm going to push it a little bit. When she starts to wrinkle up, then I'm going to remember how deep she can handle, and I'm going to water it that way. So if in case I'm able to do one and one half or one and one quarter, I'm going to remember how long that's going to take, and then I'll have a reminder for that day. So for example, I do one inch, right? And the leaves are still healthy and plump, and it's not wrinkly at all. I don't see one wrinkle. I'll give it an extra few days to see. If it goes to an inch and a quarter, 
and it starts to wrinkle up, then I water. And then I, I note down how long was the last watering to the current watering and have a reminder of that day. So for example, that was 10 days or 14 days. Let's pick 14 days. So every 14 days, I'm going to remind myself. If in case she does, um, because your plant is, or my plant or any plant just keeps on going to um, grow, especially the root system. So with that, I'm going to have to check when she might need to be watered again, if it's going to be the same frequency or less frequency. I always tell people to have a schedule for reminders. Reminders, but it's not scheduled to water. That's a completely different thing. When you water, for me personally, I have a centralized home, heat and air. Um, and so spring and fall, it, it usually kind of has the same frequency and volume. So it's less frequency and less volume versus winter and summer. Winter and summer in my home, my plants need to be watered a little bit more frequently and um, they can handle a lot more water than versus spring and fall. So here she is and she is massive. Um, if you haven't seen the previous vlogs for this particular plant, I will link them up above and try to link them down below because she has gone from just a clipping from the oldest jade that we have in our house, which isn't really mine, until now she is, I would say, like two feet tall. She's huge. Two feet tall from the top of the soil. If you include the pot, it would be probably close to three feet. Maybe not, maybe a little over two feet. <laughs> um, but she's, she's pretty tall, yes, if you can see that. So anyway, if you guys want to have any questions, you want to talk about this particular plant itself or this specific particular species or variety, let me know down in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys all the time. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.